Hey guys, what's going on? I am on the boat with my dad and my mom and Victor is behind the camera and we just ended the day and we had a beautiful day of fishing out here on the ocean. I'm pretty sure this rod is getting a bite behind Victor, but my mom absolutely slayed our butts catching fish today. So I hope you guys enjoy the fishing part of this video. Then I'll meet you at the filet table and then in the kitchen later. So I'll see you then. Dad is hooked up. Bringing something up off the bottom in 180 feet. Looks like something good. It does. It, it feels took, like something good. It took some drag. It was um, real something real small pecking at it, and I was waiting for something big to come over and, and take it, and it did. It ran nice, but it's running up. It's weird. Your lead's right there. Oh, it's, it's a shark. A shark or a king? A shark. You gotta start somewhere. That's it. Shark, you got a shark? Oh. Yeah. He broke off? Yeah, he broke off. Not a mutton. Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Hooked up again. Hooked up in 165. So we are drifting in, like my dad said, 160 feet of water. And we have some flat lines out with live gogs. And then my dad is fishing bottom with 10 ounces of lead as we're just drifting. So we'll see what he's got. Oh, oh my goodness. One. Wow. A giant this sand tile. Sand, yeah. This Should is I, probably the biggest one I've ever seen. Should I cook it? Because it's so big. It was delicious last time. He's huge. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. You want to eat it? I don't mind eating that. Mwah. He's beautiful. He's going home. Let's do it. Look at those teeth. Yeah, got he's, he's teeth. got some chompers. He's built to live in the sand, as his name indicates. You guys see, he looks like a snake. They burrow in the sand. Nature's pretty amazing. Look at that. Beautiful yellow tail. Real cool looking fish. Yeah, that's the biggest one I've ever seen. They're usually about half that size. I feel like every time that we do catch those sand tiles, we always catch multiple ones. So I feel like he's probably gonna catch another. All right, well, we had this rod up front with a dead ballyhoo on a stinger rig and it just screamed. It's probably gonna end up being a kingfish. At first I thought maybe a sailfish with the way it screamed, but it hasn't jumped, so it's probably a kingfish. Isn't it funny though, the only dead bait? The hit. only dead bait. My dad's using dead ballyhoo. Oh no, it just pulled. Gosh darn it. Look at that. The wire's not even messed up or anything. Not even kinked. So, hook just pulled. Too bad. My mom is hooked up. We have switched up what we're doing. And we are anchored in 60 feet of water. And she has a ballyhoo on bottom. She's got something. When your weight comes up, um, here, stop there. Oh. Bring your tip here. I got it. It's the one. A. Oh, a little mutton snapper. Oh, there he goes. Look. Oh. He just dropped off right there. Aww. <laughs> he wouldn't have been legal. That was probably like a 15 inch mutton snapper, but that's what we want is a bigger one. Nice. Go, mama, go. The only person catching fish. Look at these boys. What are you doing? <laughs> Sleeping. Gotta let mom do all the work. It looks like another mutton. Woo! He's bigger. Look at that, mom. Let's measure him real quick. He's gonna be close. He's gonna be, what? what's your guess? 17. 16. I'm gonna guess 17 and a half. Wow. <gasps> He's so close. Oh my gosh. Look at that. He's yeah. a half inch short. Oh. Yep. Let's let him go. Beautiful mutton snapper, but too small to eat. That's number two, Mom. You want to let him go or hold him? Um, you can. Ready? See ya. Break down. Look at that. That's All what right. I like to see. We went from like a 15 inch one to a 17 and a half. The next one's going to be legal. Oh. Is it a bar? 
guys we didn't have much luck besides those two muttons for my mom while we were anchored so we pulled up the anchor and now we are fishing a wreck in like 200 feet of water my dad just caught that grouper that was the first fish here so hopefully we catch something else for dinner because it looks like all we're eating is tile fish at this point well we got something on the live guard wire i think it's going to be a sailfish that just doesn't know he's hooked yet it's something big that does not know it's hooked Open. Oh, oh, oh you were it's right, a it is a sail. Yep. You want to fight him for your video? No, you have to jump. Let your mom fight it. Oh yeah, mom, you come fight on. it. You mom, come, come on. on. Look at it going crazy. It's really, it's real, but you make sure He's running water. towards you, so real, real, real. He's running at you. Yeah. He's running at you, mom. You have to catch him. <laughs> Look at him! Awesome, you're doing good. Oh my gosh. He's going berserk. Okay, you finally, <laughs> you finally um, caught up. Holy shit. Get it, dude. He's going crazy. I don't think I've ever seen one go this crazy. No, that's awesome. Look at him. He's coming right at us. He's making it easy for you. Whoa. Good job, Mom. Just keep tension and then when he wants yeah, to run. Yeah, the front line's got to get in. Let oh, him run. Um. You gotta come up here quick because he's going to the front. Go, for, go to the front, Doug. Just nice right and flat. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Just hold the value in. Something was falling the value in. You're doing good, Mom. You're doing good. Oh, let's give her this. Here, you want this, Mom? So you can put it in your hip or you want it under your arm? I don't know. There. It matches your outfit. <laughs> Oh, he's running. Just let him run, let him run. You gotta tire him out first before you can win the battle. Here, Vic, will you hold this for one second? Sure. Let him run, Mom. Let me, can I show you something? Look. This right here is the easiest way to fight a fish on a conventional rod. On your leg, this has all the pressure here, and then all you gotta do is this. He just wants to keep running, but as you can get it, you take it. So, one butt of the rod on your leg, just like this, okay? So put your left hand right here, this on your leg. Look, everyone on the boat has these cool hats. And I don't have a hat, I need a hat. <laughs> you still taking it, huh? Yeah. Yep, he's not giving up. Going down, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. keep going up, up. Now, reel as you go down. Exactly. There you go. Now pull up. Don't reel. Slowly. Now, go forward and reel fast. Okay, pull up slow. Now, as your weight. Yep, that's it. That's it. You got it. So he took a lot of line, but now she's slowly gaining it back. You're doing good. Nice and smooth. Reel down fast. Right there, Mom. You're almost done. The sun went away, so you can't He's see him. Right okay, here. okay, that's enough reeling. There he is, Mom. He's huge. Nice. Here, let me um, just trying to get the hook out for him. Just one hook. So the other one? I got one at least. Okay, let it go. Let it go. You sure? No, let the both. line go. I got both hooks. So we are reviving him right now. We have the boating gear, running water past his gills. Because he fought hard, so we got to revive him a little before we let him go. He's good. <laughs> good job, Mom. High five. Wow, that was How exciting. Was that? <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Good job, Mom. Go, Dad, go. This is a good one. I'm going to try and enjoy it. This is, this is a good one. I've lost my last three good fish. I'm gonna try and reel this one in nice and easy and enjoy it, not break it off. What were you using for bait? I had a half of a go goggle eye on there. 
So since my mom caught her sailfish, we went back out and we're doing a second drift back in now. But we've probably done a, over a half a dozen drifts today where we start in about 200 feet of water and we drift in. The wind is pretty strong today, so we're getting blown in until we go in until about like 60 feet. And then that's when we stop and go back out. Small grouper. Aww, I that's read a beautiful this. red grouper. I read this time. Vic, um, what the heck? He ate the valley uh -huh. He ate both our baits, didn't he? Is that what, that's what it looked like, didn't it? Yep. Flyers? He ate both the baits. Well, not an eaten fish, no. but a beautiful fish. Yep. And Brick and I are going to take a trip over to the west coast soon and catch these guys, right? Bigger ones. Beautiful fish though, Dad. Yep, two short groupers today. Right, Mike, let him go. See you when you're bigger and during the season. Ending the day with a nice rock. Pretty cool rock. <laughs> Look at that thing. That's pretty. Well, how was your fishing day, Dad? Um, I fished hard all day. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous day out here. I was never hot. Um, the ocean was nice. We had plenty of bait and uh, I enjoyed myself. I caught a shark, a sand eel, two small groupers, had a couple of big bites, missed those. But all in all, I had a, I had a fun time. Do you have fun, Mom? Yeah, I had a blast. I caught a fish I think not a lot of people get to catch. It fought really hard and I was really nervous, but I got him to the boat and I'm thrilled. It's so great. Awesome. What do you have to say, Mike? I'm happy, first of all, for Deb for catching that sailfish. I know it's exciting. Anytime you catch a sailfish, and I don't know if that was her first one, but I mean, that's about... Second one. Second one. That's about the most exciting thing you can catch offshore. She did a great job. She got a good teacher, her daughter, Brooke. And my dad. Well, we had a great day offshore. Kind of had to work for our bites. I didn't even catch a fish, neither did Victor, but my mom and dad put on a little bit of a show for us today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I think it's probably too late to fillet that sand eel tonight. So I'll probably fillet it tomorrow and then cook it up for lunch tomorrow and maybe have some cheeseburgers or something because it's not gonna be enough to feed us all. So see you then. All right guys, it is time to fillet up our sand tile. Unfortunately, this was the only fish we caught worth taking home to eat or even legal to take home and eat. I've never cleaned one before, but we have ate them before on Victor's channel and they are absolutely delicious. They got really beautiful white meat. And they're plentiful. There's lots of them and they're unregulated. After I fillet this up, we're actually gonna go in the kitchen and make some fish cakes. That's something I've never done on the channel before. And since we only have one fish, I figured it might be the best way to make it go the longest way. And they have a huge backbone for their size. They do have a big backbone. Pretty bony. Mm-hmm. Very white meat. Yeah, very similar to a, a gray tile or a golden tile. But yeah, for their small little tiny size, they got a decent backbone there. And a big stomach. Huge rib cage. Huge rib cage. That's all rib cage. Really, really easy fish to skin. Holy hand, that was the easiest fish I've ever skinned in my whole life. Holy moly. The whole thing? They got pin bones that go all the way up to here. You can take your finger and run your finger down what would be like their bloodline but they don't really have one and it goes all the way up to here beautiful beautiful white meat would have been nice if we did catch more than one but you know sometimes you gotta take what you can get gonna pop this guy's little eyes 
them in and let the fish in the canal eat the rest of the carcass. Alright guys, so here is my fish. I chopped it up into a couple pieces and I put some salt, pepper, and garlic powder on these. After I cook it, I'm going to form my fish cakes. So since I'm going to be frying it in oil, I don't think I want to like double dose on the oil. So I'm going to just take a little bit of Pam and spray this in the pan. And then put my fish in. These are super small, so they are. And I also only seasoned one side. So they're not going to take a long time to cook, so don't forget about these. And they're going to shrink, which is not going to help our situation for not having a lot either. So you don't want to overcook it because you are still going to end up cooking it again into the fish cake. But these are going to be like the perfect fish for this because look, they're so flaky. They're already falling apart. So they'll be able to flake up real nice to get made into the fish cake. Absolutely no bloodline in this fish whatsoever. Very white. Now I'm going to just let those cool down for a little bit before I form them into the fish cakes. All right guys, we're about to go to my parents' house to fillet the sand tile, which you had just watched, but before we leave, I had just cut up, cut off some scallion off of my scallions that I have in the backyard, and check out how long these things are. They're getting close to like two feet long, and all this is is that after we, well, we used to buy scallion from the grocery store, and I would cut off the root section about this much, plant it in some dirt, and this is what you can grow on your own, these long, healthy scallions. Isn't that crazy? Way better than what you can get in the grocery store. They're not as thick, but they're a lot longer. I just thought that was cool. So see you at my parents' house. <laughs> in our glass mixing bowl, we have one egg, and then we're going to take some plain breadcrumbs, some plain panko breadcrumbs. Put some of those in there. I don't really know how, many I'm gonna, how much I'm gonna need yet. Toss my fish in. Take some of those scallions from our scallion oh. garden. And then, for the final touch, Old Bay. So now we're gonna mix. So the fish is so flaky that it's just gonna break apart. That's exactly what we want. Definitely gonna need some more breadcrumbs. So this is our mixture looks delicious so what I'm doing is I'm just getting a clump make sure you wash your hands <laughs> and then you're just kind of forming the shape of a little cake since I don't have a ton I'm gonna make them kind of smaller so that we have more so it makes you think you have more than you actually do instead of making big ones so I think I'm gonna go for that right there Okay, so here are the fish cakes, and we have a pan with some hot oil right here. And we're going to carefully put these babies in. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. I was really worried about them falling apart and they are staying together perfectly. 
I had also had them in the fridge after I made them for about 15 minutes. I think that might have helped a little because when I first made them, they were a little bit um, like not holding together. But I think that cold really made them stick together. Beautiful, huh? Mm -hmm. I am so excited. So taking them off. I'm just gonna let that excess oil soak into the paper towel for a few seconds. So our one tile fish turned into these beautiful six little fish cakes, as well as I whipped up some homemade tartar sauce. And now everyone gets to try one. You guys ready? What do you think? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a bite first with no tartar sauce. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, they're so good. We certainly didn't slay yesterday, but we had a lot of fun. We um, bought two undersized groupers, two undersized mutton snappers, and it was nice that all our fish swam away unhurt. Even the, the nice sailfish that Deb caught swam away healthy. That's always fun. So we didn't slay, but we, we're bringing uh, yesterday's fun into today. And look at these little tiny tasty fish cakes. They are absolutely delicious. Wish, wish we had a few more, but you know, maybe next time we'll catch a few more. <laughs> Fisher, what do you think? They're very good. Yeah, wish we had more of them, but can't always have that. <laughs> I love them. They're delicious. Wow. Very similar to a crab cake. I love them. I wish mm -hmm. I had another. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's five of us here. That's a crazy And good there fish was six cake. fish mm -hmm. cakes, so who gets the last one? Well,. Let me see. I did catch the fish. Oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> Yay, I win. You win. <laughs> I think it might be the best fish cake I ever had. No joke, Brooke. It was really good. That was a very, very simple recipe. Did not take long to cook. Really easy, absolutely delicious. I highly recommend it. And you could probably make this recipe with any kind of white meat fish. Like everyone said, we wish we had more. I swear, I really wish we had more because they were absolutely delicious. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.